Welcome back to Inside South Florida. Growing up, did you ever have a role model? Maybe someone you looked up to, a teacher, coach, or loved one? If so, you know just how much of a difference they made in your life. And that's the goal for the organization called the 5,000 Role Models of Excellence Project. For years, they have mentored at-risk youth boys in South Florida, and their work is far from over. Joined with us is Antonio Burgess with the Excellence Project. Hello, Antonio. Hello, how are you? Thank you, I'm great, how are you? Thank you so I'm much for being here. Well, glad to be here. I'm so happy that you were here. So for folks who don't know, tell us, what is it that you guys are all about? So the 5,000 Role Models of Excellence Project is the nation's premier mentoring program for boys. It started in 1993 by a school principal, Ms. Frederica Wilson. She's now a congresswoman, U.S. legislator. And when it originally started, it was 500 Role Models of Excellence. So through the years and the growth and development of the program, it has expanded to 5,000 role models. Um, and the program is pretty much a dropout prevention, uh, schoolhouse to prison pipeline, uh, disruptive system that provides mentoring, leadership, and support to at-risk youth. That's fantastic and so necessary. So let's talk about how many boys do you guys mentor here in South Florida and how really dire is this need? So the Schoolhouse to Prison Pipeline has always been around for years. Um, in Broward, we have about a little over 40 schools that we provide mentoring and leadership support to. Uh, as a matter of fact, we just inducted our uh, brand new high school um, in the district. Um, but we have a very diverse group of schools and students that we provide support to. Um, and that can range from 300 to four or 500 uh, students at a time. Each school has about 25 uh, at minimum um, amount of boys um, that are a part of the program. Now let's talk about what this mentoring even looks like. Is it like meetups, conversations, going out? What does it look like for these boys? Great question. So the programming um, is very diverse. Um, some of it is one-on-one, -on -one. some of it um, is group mentoring. We have guest speakers. Um, it includes field trips to uh, college tours, to uh, local college tours. All of our elementary and middle school students have the opportunity to experience local college tours. Our high school students will have the experience to go on college tours around the state of Florida. Awesome. We have some coming up uh, next month and in the month of April where we're taking some boys to Washington, D.C. to experience different college tours. And these are students who are ready. They've already taken the SAT, ACT, Mm -hmm. um, they are in good academic standings um, and they have a bunch of support uh, from the school. So we, we the program is, is very diverse when we try to meet the needs of all of our students. That's fantastic. And, and giving them, you know, opening up their minds to possibilities maybe they didn't even think possible. Absolutely. Providing that access and that opportunity is very, very vital. Uh, for the success of the program. Absolutely. And what's it like for you to be a part of this? I'm sure you've seen kids maybe at their lowest and then just completely Listen, thrive. You, you hit it right on the nail from the lowest to them thriving. That is the most joy about leading this program. And I've been leading it since 2018, wow. since we started in Broward County. The program originally started in 1993, over 31 years ago, um, but just getting phone calls from students that are in college, text message, hey, Mr. Burgess, you know, I, I, I didn't understand what you meant back then. Thank you for all that you've done. And just getting those small reminders of the effectiveness of the program, is, is, it's amazing, it's amazing. And seeing the growth from start to now, right? And I didn't say start to finish, but start to now because Never our goal, finished. exactly, never our goal and expectation is that they continue and go on to college and careers and become back, come back to the school district mm. and provide that same mentoring and support that was given to them. Mm. I can't imagine how gratifying that is just it's to see amazing. someone's life completely change. So what are some upcoming events that you guys are looking forward to? So we have a couple of events. Uh, we'll be partnering with Miami-Dade. Uh, where it started, we'll be doing an academic signing, um, and that is where we recognize all of our seniors, who we call Wilson Scholars. 
uh, where they get scholarships to go into different colleges. So for folks who are interested, where can they learn more about you guys? So there's a couple options. You can go on 5000rolemodels.com or you can go to mentoringacrossbroward.com at Broward County Public Schools. Uh, we're on social media. Uh, <laughs> it's a national program. We, you, you can even Google us, but we are definitely there. Um, and we're available to schools in Broward County. That's right, that's right. And I hear you guys are looking for volunteers, adding yes, some more zeros we, to those role it. models. We are <laughs> always looking for dedicated, positive male role models that want to spend at least an hour a month being that spotlight, being that uh, character, that voice of reason for our youth, um, always available. And you can go on our website. Uh, there's information where you can be more involved look on there join us you can always reach out but we're always looking for role models because people you know the facts of life and you know just how life goes but life we're is all hard. yeah absolutely we're always looking for positive uh male role models mm. and it's not a lot of time to take out of your day to really do change your life antonio absolutely thank you so much for being here and everything thank you do thank you thank you so much